there's been a um, lot of James Gunn talk this week. Um, he confirmed today that Nicholas Holt has been cast as Lex Luthor. We went out to dinner last night to celebrate and discuss how we can create a Lex that will be different from anything you've seen before and never forget. He'll have hair. Yeah. I'm happy with the casting. Yeah, hair in um, Smallville for a little while, didn't he? Yeah, for a little while. Till the last season. A little bit. Or last two seasons. I don't know. That, that yeah. mock-up Time magazine cover where they had Holt bald. It looked mm. like a good Lex Luthor. It looked, it looked good. I'm all right with him. He's fine. Yeah, well, he, he was, was not his brother. At... <laughs> <laughs> he, he was in what? Um, The last things he was, he was in... Um, Fury Road, he was in Warm Bodies, he was in Days of Future Past, he was in Menu, he was in Renfield. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Dark About Phoenix, unfortunately. About a point. Yeah, yeah. Quite, uh, you know, all those X-Men, first class. The Weatherman. Yeah. He played Tolkien in the Tolkien um, movie. Great movie. Beast and Deadpool 2. That's a great movie. Well, he's been around for a while, and I guess it's this time to step up. Clash of the Titans. I think it's a good choice. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with all the castings. Even with Sean uh, Penn? Said, we'll get Sean there. Penn. We'll get there. You know, it's... <laughs> you know, it must suck that he went up for both the um, Batman and Superman. They didn't get either one. Oh, here's here's a consolation prize of Lex Luthor. That's a good consolation prize. I guess you have more fun with Lex Luthor, probably. You know, I guess you know, unless unless they um plan on having Lex as the background player in most of the DCU when it launches next year. <laughs> you know, uh, pulling yeah, you're going to have to be in a movie with the most vanilla superhero of all time, Superman. I would want to be cast as the villain. They should have fun with that. No, for not yet. <laughs> wow. I, I'm not the only thing I'm not sure if I want him to be. I don't want him to be playing some uh, Trump esque millionaire psychopath. Yeah, I need smart Lex. Yeah, I need smart Lex. Yeah, and I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't need mech suit. I don't need mech suit. Billionaire Lex either. <laughs> Maybe at the end. I, but Lex Luthor is smart. They're not going to have him play Trump. That's um, crazy. Joe is hating a Netflix version of Daredevil. <laughs> I like Kevin. Why Spacey, is Lee so. Pace getting so swole? Lee Pace. Well, <laughs> are you saying how um, do we get? No, I said I liked uh, Kevin Spacey's uh, Lex Luthor in uh, what was it? Superman Returns or whatever. Yeah. I, I think he was a good Lex. You know, for me, there's only been like maybe two good Lex. Um, what's his name? Um, Smallville. Brian Cranston could do an amazing Lex Luthor. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I think, I think um, James Gunn is He's aiming for all the the leads and supporting characters to be around the same age. Yeah, and that oh, yeah. little, you know, late twenties, early thirties. Well, he's like yeah. his actors like, not age out either. Yeah, Jeff years of Superman. Real movies. excited to be in that yeah. picture. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I I will still say it that. I, I was on board with most of his choices, hopefully. But, you know, today's news was, and eh, yesterday's news, eh. So we have, so far, cast. We have Superman, David Cornsweet as Superman. Corn Rachel Bro Brosnahan <laughs> as Lois Lane. Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor. Skylar Gisando as Jimmy Olsen. Maria Gabriella as... The engineer, Sarah Sampao as Eve Teschmacher, Eddie Deji as Mr. Terrific, Isabella Merced as Hawk Hawk Girl, 
Nathan Fillion as Guy Gardner, Anthony Carrigan as Rex Mason Metamorpho. Hmm. Great casting. It's kind of funny. I can't, it's, I can't complain funny about it. The other characters, besides Superman characters, that they're putting in this, like Superman, his cast, Lex Luthor, Jimmy Olsen, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, they, they're putting Mr. Miracle, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Terrific, they're putting in Hawk Girl, they're putting in uh, Guy Gardner, you know, like different uh, characters that are not like really part of super Superman uh, methods, if you think about because, it. Because Superman's boring. Yes. <laughs> kind of what James done have, have a good night, Joe. And the character. <laughs> He is it's a boring character. You need to spice it up with some stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you read War World? Have you read The Dawn of DC? <laughs> Any others? Overpowered superheroes are boring on screen. They are. So He's not overpowered. He's grounded by his humanity and his love for his family. Yeah, but now he is immortal. Immortal? So Superman's not immortal. That he's immortality. It's, it's coming in the comics. What are you talking about? Immortal. He's immortal. That's his new power now. What? What'd you get that from? Go read the uh, thing. What thing? What he's thing are you reading that I want to read? <laughs> I want to read the thing. It was an article. You know the thing. That, Look how old I want to read the thing read that, thing that read. you're reading the thing that so I can understand the thing that you're reading while I'm reading the thing. No, listen, there was an article about Superman's new power in mortality now. Hmm. And he can't fucking I guess die. I'll have to look into that for Friday's show. Look at Yeah. Duh. Go to the place and read the thing. The thing. Please hit that like button. Please. <laughs> what is this? Oh, man, what size funny uh, fish is yeah, go read some Golden Age Superman, Crazy Joe. And then, then come back to me and say Superman has never been boring. What? This is once and for all. Apparently, Superman is an immortal being. What? Space Superman for the boob window. <laughs> I guess I missed that. See? Don was right for once? Yeah, that's crazy. Death defying life for us. That doesn't mean immortal, though. Well, Superman has like never been born. Like I said, just read read Superman from 1939 up until 1960. Spice Superman up with boob window. <laughs> Joe would like it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. Anybody, you guys looking forward to this movie? Yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. I finally watched. I, I joke about Superman being boring, but I I like the casting for all of this. You know, I like the I'm people they put together. But the fact that we're getting a, a villain from another, like it's not a Superman villain. What villain? I haven't heard of the villain yet. Who's the villain? What's the name of the villain? The other girl from uh, the Authority. Not engineer not villain. I don't think villain? she's going to be the villain. She's not a villain. She starts out as a villain, but yeah, she won't end up, she won't end, she won't end up I, being a villain. So I'm very happy to get some hot girl. You know, makes me happy. Yeah. They're finally getting the lantern. Finally getting the lantern. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now so, to move into the what's in the thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail. What was in the thumbnail, guys? What was kidding. in the thumbnail again? Uh, I'm what's kidding. Um, the Sean Gunn thing. Oh, sure. I don't like to mention it, but you know, it's here. They couldn't afford Pedro Pascal. Sean Gunn will play Maxwell Lord in the DCU. The character will be referenced in the background of Superman Legacy. However, it is uncertain if he'll appear in the film. Huh. I know Crazy Joe was excited for I this. Know. Oh. Even Snyder's crappy man is still wasn't boring. Of course, Jesus Christ. No, I love the man. I think the man is still a great, a great movie. I enjoyed it. The third is anti hero Tom. Hollywood nepotism is Hollywood nepotism. Hollywood. Unfortunately, it's something we just got to live with. 
No. Nah. But do we? Do you like well, everybody does it? Yeah. Well, I mean, do you, would would you if you're gonna hire somebody, would you hire somebody you like working with or just yeah. like working with? Yeah. Never mind. No, I like I said, no. it, it is what it is. I'm not. A, I do not like Sean Gunn. Um, what? As an actor, um, but I guess if you're throwing him in a little bit part or whatever, whatever. Well, it's like uh, Ron Howard Wait. having his brother in every movie that he's uh, he directs. But Clint Howard is a genius. I know he's an is. amazing, he amazing human. <laughs> I would, I would watch Clint Howard a million times over watching Sean. Gunn. He was the droid keeper in. Uh, in Solo, Star Wars story, it was funny. Is that? Yeah, what were you saying, Are you Brian? sure that's not... Was it really? Yeah. Brian, what were you saying? Matthew? No, it, it doesn't matter. He's, no, he's, no, it does. Clint Howard is one of the only three Hollywood people that I follow on IG. <laughs> no, you're saying to the point that you like working with uh, people. Just, you know, you pick I'm people just, to work with. Well, I'm just saying I, I really get tired of that whole nepotism argument. It's just... Sorry, it's not from you. I hear it every night with Max, so it's like I just don't. He does. It's all good. I don't want to engage. It's cool. I mean, it is what it is. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. And like I said, you're gonna want to work with who you want to work with anyway. You know, you're not gonna have problems with that person because you know them well enough and have trust in them. I just don't like him as an actor. Yeah, so I like him you, in you Guardians act- of the Galaxy three. I liked him in Guardians of the Galaxy, but I thought I liked him in three. I liked the way he uh, interacted with Cosmo. It was pretty cool. Oh, oh, Cosmo was funny as hell. <laughs> that was a funny movie. I really liked that movie. But it was great in Gilmore Girls, Girls, damn it. I didn't watch Gilmore Girls. There I, oh. said, but... I did. And he was... <laughs> damn. Okay. Where Rocky been sleeping on the Bruce? Weapon? Where Rocky been sleeping on the Hecker? I thought you were a Gilmore Girl uh, fanatic, man. No, I was. I've never I was busy seen watching Gilmore Girls either. I, I was watching. I was busy watching Party of Five, Felicity, Melrose Place, Felicity. and then I watched Felicity. God damn it! Dawson's Seven Tree Heaven. Hill. I did. I did watch One Tree Hill and um, yes. Dawson's Creek. <laughs> I don't want Buffy, to God, the, the company Angel. I keep. I swear to God, I don't understand. Gossip Girl, Babylon, Babylon Gossip Five, Girl. Gossip Girl. Of course, Gossip Girl. Yeah, of course, XOXO. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anthony says, "I don't mind it. It's just like whatever. You know, it, yeah. it's not a big enough role for it to. I don't. I don't know. It'll be a throwaway little role. Little. Yeah, nothing. yeah that's I, fine." I do. I accept that you guys. Uh, I accept that you guys really care about this casting stuff. I think it's uh, cool that you do, but I could actually just. I could not give less fucks about who plays what. I don't care. It's about where I'm at now. Like, <laughs> no, nobody complained like, about Talia Shire being in Godfather, but if you know how, how crazy the making of Godfather was, <laughs> it's they were, they were pulling out stops to get that cast all around. There we go. Not that Marvel's Place Watcher. Marvel's Place with Heather Lockley was fire. Thank you. Quality television at its finest. Milano was on there. Yes. <laughs> um, what was the um, redhead? I forgot her name. Um, oh, she went Jenny. to um, House, Desperate Housewives. And and Ted Debray is fantastic, by the way. Terry Gar? Not Terry Gar. Terry Hatcher? No. Terry Hatcher. Um, no, Terry Hatcher was the the brunette from Super Mario Lois Lane. Was Melrose Broad. Place in, was Melrose Place in the same universe as nine hundred two one zero? Yes, it was. It was, it was because yeah. uh, because yeah, Jake, yeah. the guy with the, the guy from uh, Melrose Place, he was in the freaking. Now I'm identified as Jake. He, he was doing the freaking construction for uh for Kelly in the backyard, <laughs> and all the girls were going back there trying to get him. Hanging out at the, the peach pit. <laughs> the peach pit. Where Andrea yeah, who was forty. Uh, was Joey you know, Tata? Yo, know, the summertime, the summertime episodes are great. When, when uh, Kelly uh, was uh, cheap, was with Dylan and uh, Brenda. Oh, the, the true comes out. Don was watching it too. Yeah, I was watching it, man. Of course, I had the Dylan sideburns back hey. then, man. Too. <laughs> I know two one gave us an American hero, so. Yeah. 
I just hope Maxwell it. Lord puts together the Justice League International in DCU. Justice League International run was amazing. If you haven't mm -hmm. read that run from the 80s, 